Hi, welcome to the Boca Bearing Installation Guide. In this guide I will show you how to replace the bearings on this 5th scale Genius FR Formula 1 car. Let's continue with our guide. You have bearing, two bearings on the rear left upright, two on the right upright, you have two bearings on the diff, four in the central gears here, two, two of them on the central shaft and three on the clutch bell and uh, the four bearings on the front uprights. Uh, to remove the rear uprights you need to unscrew this top top screw with allen tip three millimeters. You need to remove the brake calipers, the square and that's it. For the diff you have four screws that are holding the diff here. You remove the diff holders. For the central gears we have two screws that hold the plate. For the central gear you need to remove the small gear inside. For that one you need Allen head 2.5 millimeters and to remove the clutch bell holder and the clutch bell itself. You, you need just to remove these three screws. In the next screen you will see how to replace those bearings. Here you can see the removed parts from the car, two central gears, rear uprights, front uprights, diff, clutch bell, clutch bell holder and central shaft holder with two bearings. Uh, from tools you will need uh, small table wise flat screwdriver allen head 2.5 millimeter and let's say a steel tip to push out the bearings uh, if you want to keep your bear bearings after removal then you need a removal tool which won't damage the bearings here is a diff removal tool which is widely available and also the 10 millimeter inside diameter bearing removal tool and here is the FG mounting device which we will use to mount the bearings. First we are going to remove the bearings from all the parts. Let's start with the clutch bell. Use the clutch shaft to remove the inside bearing. Okay, done. You can use this and push the outside bearing. Clutch bell finished. You can do the same on the clutch bell holder. Also for the upright, for the installation purposes, I have removed one bearing. If you want to save the bearing, use the removal tool as it won't damage the bearing. If your bearings are worn out, like this one, you can just press it out like this. For the front uprights, as there are still two bearings, we are going to use the removal tool to show you how it works. Press it in, use Allen head 2.5 millimeter screwdriver, tight the screw firmly and start removing the bearing by rotating this anti-clockwise. Here it is removed. Do the same on the opposite side. And again on the other upright. Then 
they should come out pretty easily as you see it won't damage them but these are already worn out after a complete season and ready for replacement This one is going a bit harder, but it's not a problem. Ooh. It didn't came off. We didn't tight the screw enough. Let's try again. It's done. To remove the bearings from the central gears, just push them out with a steel pin or with a bearing removal tool. Here it is. They fall off pretty easily. And finally, the diff. Remove one drive cup from the diff put bearing removal tool on it and carefully turn it clockwise okay here it is one bearing removed now let's go to the other side it depends on the diff and the case how hard the bearing came on that's how hard it will came off from the diff these bearings are coming pretty easily that's it about removing the bearings in the next screen you will see how to get these bearings back on the parts let's start with installation of the bearings first we are going to put new bearings on the front upright we are going to use the green seals what I like to do is to put the old bearing first on the mounting device so the mounting device presses the old bearing and then the new bearing in put them on put the upright make sure it goes in in the upright perfectly straight one side finished another bearing opposite side front upright finished let's install the bearings into the rear upright old bearing on the mountain device new bearing it goes easily now the opposite side new bearing on upright in the mountain device and finished we are done with all four uprights new green seals installed now we're going to put the new bearings onto the clutch bell holder we're going to use the ZZ bearings there of course keep the old one here new bearing and the holder Make sure it's straight 
before you press it. Done. For the clutch bell, you cannot use the mounting device because it's too small to put the clutch bell in, but you can press them in with your fingers or you can use the clutch shaft to press them in. One side installed, the front installed finished with this. Uh, for the central gears it's also the same. The bearings should come in easily. See? One side done. Other side. Now we have left with only two things to install. This is the central shaft bearing holder. Here the bearings come in also pretty easily. If not, you can use mounting device or table device or whichever you think it's the best solution. For the diff, remove the cup, put the new bearing here. You see it should sit fully. You can use the old bearing to press to press it on. Done. On the one side, put the drive cup back in, and on the other side, the same. First new bearing, and use the old one to press it on. And that's it. You have changed the bearings on your car to the Boca ceramic bearings or whichever you choose. Make sure here are the, all the parts from the car on which we have replaced the bearings with Boca high precision bearings. Thank you for watching Boca bearing installation videos and get that car to the track.